Right, so we're back again. We're going to do a quick unboxing of uh, this Seaward Test and Tag Elite. Uh, it's a Bluetooth compatible printer, and this one prints barcodes, company logos, etc. Okay, so we've got the usual quick start guide. No doubt the full manual is available online, as seems to be the case with all of Seaward's equipment. We have a pack of labels. Let's just bring this down a little bit. We have, oh, it's part of the charger. Yeah, just a separate charger for uh, the unit. unusual <laughs> design but it does tell you here that uh, green is fully charged, amber is charging and uh, flashing amber there is a fault there's a seaward label stuck over the top of that uh, but this is your usual uh, made in China charger as you would expect of course 8.4 volts outputs and uh, 0.8 amps There is a lithium ion battery pack. Now that is a pretty chunky battery. Charge battery prior to use and there they have deliberately stuck this warning on there about the battery can explode, leak or catch fire if improperly, char improperly charged or exposed to high temperature or fire. Do not expose to water, disassemble, crush, short circuit or short the contacts. Charge only on a Zebra approved lithium ion charger. Okay, I assume that's what that is. Then we've got the actual unit itself. Oops. This looks like it's a, uh, a demo unit, a bit of uh, dust on it, etc. A few marks, maybe. Yeah, so it's, this is a, a rubberized uh, device should make it a little bit tougher so Zebra battery pack in the back there looks like there is a push button on the side to release the mechanism and the labels just sit uh, in here, let's just bring this down a little bit so yeah as you can see push button release of the label cover and then pull these apart and uh, pop the labels in, which we will do now. Yeah, looks like that is this way around. Pull it up so it lines up with the gap. There we go. Tear off. So what have we got? It looks like a small plastic ring for a carrying handle of some description. There's a clip there, but I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be used for. So a quick look at the instructions. Yeah, okay, not entirely sure what uh, what that is for. Ah, I think that will go in here. And it is a belt clip. So you can actually sling that onto your belt or something else uh, to carry it around. Uh, 
USB and another port there. Again, covered by a rubber cover. And there is a screen. Blue looks like it feeds the paper. Green is on. Ticks to select, and there's an arrow pointing to the right. So I think we'd best just get that uh, battery in and uh, see if it's charged and it will power up or not. Okay, so that's the reason that's there, just to uh, protect the contacts during shipment. I think there's a lot of rules now regarding batteries uh, when you're posting items. Okay, and that's it. Simple as that. Looks like the charger is going to go in the back of the battery. So let's see if this will fire up. I'm trying to get this so the lights are not shining off of it. Let's see. There we go. Zebra starting. Let's just see if we can zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we've got board rate information, battery, uh, it's uh, only two bars, so it's about half charged. So, yeah, okay, you're going to use the. There, yeah, I think you can see that now. You've got the arrow for moving between the selections. So, if you want to go to printer, you'd select it there or highlight it and then press the tick for OK and uh, there's various other options that you can scroll through yeah, timeout, duration back again to media yeah, don't know what uh, any of that is communications yeah and. Uh, I suspect most of this we won't be worried about. Just go back to the main display. Uh, so you can turn the light on or off. Contrast is on 4 and you can lower that or raise it. Yep. And uh, then you can go through to network. Okay, so this is saying wireless LAN or Bluetooth. That's interesting. Bluetooth address, discoverable on, encryption off, mode, slave, yeah, all basic uh, stuff. It's quite a nice display actually. Oops, let's get it back. Yeah, back to the main menu. I think that feeds the paper through. seem to feed quite one length through. Let's just try it again there. Okay, well that's a bit odd. <laughs> just gonna open out. Warning chimes going off. Yeah you'd think that would line it up there between the labels wouldn't you? it does in uh, when it's being actually used. Sort of warning tones to say the covers off or open. Yeah, nice. Nice unit. Heavy. Looks well protected. Not so sure about the plastic that's flush with the rubberized cover. holds that belt clip in place. Sorry, just going to widen that out again. 
hope all of that was on film actually, I might have to check that before uploading it. Yeah, it fires up pretty quick. Okay, so it's not happy with that. So yeah, just a quick look at the Test and Tag Elite. And uh, again, we'll get this connected up to the Apollo 600 and uh, print off a few labels, I think. Catch you later.